Even though we specialize in training materials for the professional woodworking industry, we know that our techniques can benefit anyone. Take full advantage of this by signing up at woodproacademy.com. There you'll get full access to this tutorial, but you'll also get the full project downloads. You'll greatly accelerate your learning if you work along with the video. So go sign up at woodproacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your video. And we'll see you soon. Now, object snap tracking is um, is a, is a way of doing temporary construction lines to help to align objects. You know, a lot of times if you want to uh, arrange things. Um, aesthetically on a on a page you know to look balanced uh, you're going to want to align it with other objects and uh, objects object snap tracking is a is a quick way to do this so let me demonstrate in this case we're going to arrange these elevation markers in, in a more centered position compared to uh, these countertops so let's move this first one I'm going to grab my snap right on the tip of the of the line. See, I can I can hover over this midpoint and pull down, and you'll see the dashed green line. Uh, that's it's a construction line, like old like using the old uh, T square on your drafting board on an old school drafting board if you familiar with that but um, anyway uh, that's what you know that's what this is same principle now I have ortho on so it's holding me to this 90 degree so if I want to do anything more or anything other than you know some sometimes that's to my benefit and sometimes I don't want it right but in this case I don't want it because I want to get a little closer so I do f8 to turn ortho off this is one of those commands where uh, in conjunction with with ortho uh, you need your snaps on so that you can hover and get your point but ortho is something that you'll want to turn on or off depending on what you're doing so let's just click again and place that there now this next elevation I mean next next elevation marker I want to move but I want to position it not only relative to the center of my countertop but I also want it in alignment with the other marker so do you see what I just did there now I have two sets of object tracking lines let me do it again so I'm gonna get this tracking line off the center of the countertop and I'm gonna get this tracking line off the other elevation call out and now we have both I'm going to click and now that's in alignment with both of those okay this next example I'm, I'm going to arrange this section on the page so I'm going to start my move command and I'm grab the bottom of the toe kick or the floor same difference right and I'm going to hover with the floor of my other section and pull off and now those sections are aligned well now I'm going to align my label so I'm going to get the quadrant snap the very top and so I'm going to align with the top of this other label as well as my wall dimension line okay I'm going to undo and do that again because I want to make sure you uh, I don't think I was clear about one of them uh, I'm pulling off this construction line which represents the wall the back wall of the section as well as the top of my other label right there Well, we hope you benefited from this quick tutorial. Uh, don't forget that you can go sign up and get access to this full tutorial and many more. It's free for now, 
So be sure you head over there and take full advantage of this. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon at woodproacademy.com.